Horsepower versus torque-wise, do you think it's not starving for air on the high end? It, it yeah, shuts down pretty quick. It probably uses a little bit more gas. It was pretty happy in here, but you see uh, the decay in torque right from here is the acceleration. Right. When you start, as you tip into it, yeah. It, once it starts, the, you, you 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 use power to rotate the mass. If we mm -hmm. stayed there at 2,500 forever, and ever, it would just be a constant number. Sure. And then, but then it catches itself up in here, and then it starts to go up, um, and you're, you're back to, to square one here, and you start to increase. So, end of the day, we're. 460 here 464 foot pounds right there 464 30, foot pounds yeah 3400 or 3394 is 464.3 and uh 327 but your horsepower number will go up because the rpm goes up faster than the torque right. goes down so but you're peaking out in the 320s it looks like 326 down there no like 4000 4, I don't know. Or we, like I say, we ran further than that. Well, everybody says the end all be all in Pontiacs is don't go over like 5,800 RPMs. That's it. Well, yeah. we, we, we. There we go. Yeah, but it's tapering off there. Well, yeah, you're done. You're way fucking done. So she is this a is this a matter of we're out of air? Because shouldn't that be out of cam or sure. cam? We don't have the manifold vacuum hooked up, so that you can't really see whether or not you're. If that number were 1.5 and it's gradually going up to like two and a quarter, that tells you that the carburetor is the choke point. Okay. So also we're our AFRs are in the 12 and a half. So is it it's fattening itself up too much up here? Uh, it's going rich there, you know. But I mean, it's it's going off the fucking chart up here. Made like 330 here. 
Yeah. And then it starts to fatten up and it starts pulling down the horse. Yeah, and as you're, this is an, you know, this is an indication that here of, of how efficient it's using the fuel and that it's not making enough power <coughs> for the fuel that it's going in. Look at how it's going on with your fuel mass. The fuel mass looks like it's going. That's just really interesting because it, I mean, it's, it looks like it's really seriously overfueling itself on the top end. That's not really terribly fat for a fully loaded motor. That's about where you want it to be in the six, okay. all sixes, all seven. So, final, final decisions. It's a lot healthier than we thought it was. I, I'm extremely impressed. I was not expecting close to that. Yeah. So, all right, so final numbers. Um, That's surprising. She peaked out 465 foot-pounds of torque mm -hmm. and 330 horsepower. You can make a print. Uh, we'll give you guys a printout of the dyno sheet once we get this done here, but uh, otherwise we're pretty happy with it. Um, Would have liked to have seen a little bit more horsepower out of it, but it made a monster amount of torque, which is you know what Pontiacs are good for. So if you put a good set of heads on this thing and change camshaft and, and do some, some tweaking, you'll probably see that, the, I don't know if the torque number will go down, we'll probably just move further up the RPM range. Mm -hmm. And then it, now that will do develop a better horsepower. Right. So there you go, guys. Thanks for uh, tuning in and making it through all of this process with us. It's been a uh, three days of headache over here. And uh, thanks again to the guys at Performance Research, Bob and Joe, for helping us get this all set up and uh, letting us pollute their beautiful environment with this terrible, dirty Pontiac. So uh, next episode, it's take this thing off the dyno, break it apart, and see where we are. Uh, we're going to go through a rebuild process on this thing, and then... Uh, who knows from there. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe, comment below, and uh, we'll see you next time.